All right, we're going to do a particle counter test for the uh, sharper image ionic breeze. This is the Quadra Mini tabletop model. And the particle counter is a Dylos DC 1700, rated at 0.5 microns and 2.5 microns. And we're testing it in the laundry room today, which is probably about 10 feet by about 6 feet. And there's lots of uh, dust. Nobody's been in here for a while, so this will be a good test. Here's what the particle counts are right now. And if you want to get that for cubic feet, you have to times it by 100. Because they say the air intake on this is about uh, one tenth of a cubic foot approximately. So we're at about 17, 17, 1800, which according to the chart on the back of this thing, that's rated at uh, poor in the poor category. Okay, the air outside right now is probably about five, six hundred. So it's pretty dusty in here. Okay, first thing we're going to do is take this little breeze and put it on the back of the exhaust and turn it on and see what happens. Um, this particle counter is actually not that great for checking the air purifier inputs. Just because it doesn't have a pump, it has a CPU style fan to draw the air in. So it's not ideal for checking air purifiers at the source. But we'll turn this on and see what happens. Okay. It's turned on. And the counts are dropping from about 1800. to 7 to 800. So it is making the counts drop and I'll turn it off here. See what happens when I turn it off. Okay, it's turned off. Jumps back up to 1800. Turn it back on, it's back on again. See what happens again. and it does seem to take some particles out of the air. In all fairness to this, it's not taking all the particles out, but um, this fan was probably drawing some of this air in and some of the regular air was mixing with it, so all the air coming from here was not being purified. So the counts might have actually been lower. Um, so it is taking some particles out. But the real world test is gonna be, we're gonna leave this ionic breeze going for a good hour at least in here and then check the um, check the counts then. So we'll just shut it off and we'll set it up here. And that's the best test, it's not necessarily at a purifier input because it's a clean air delivery rate that uh, is most important really. Okay, we're not going to leave the particle counter in here, I don't want someone to steal it, but we're going to leave the uh, ionic breeze just sitting right here in the middle of the room. And this isn't a very big room, this is smaller than what most bedrooms would be. This is maybe 10 by 6 feet. Okay, you want to order our counts right here. 18, in the 18, 17, 16s, 17s, 16s. So our counts are in the 1700s. Sixteens. And 63, 70 for the bigger particles. Okay, now we have an idea what the count is in here. I'll turn this thing on for a couple of hours or an hour or whatever. We'll see if the counts drop. There we go. turned on and we'll leave the room now. Okay, I'm back in the laundry room here and it's been uh, about three, three to three and a half hours since I've been in here. And I'm just checking out the uh, particle counts now. It's showing in the 800s on the 0.5 micron and uh, the teens on the 2.5 micron. When I last left here, I believe it was about uh, 16, 15, 16, 17, 1800 in that range. So it 
this sharper image ionic breeze tabletop model did seem to lower the particle counts in here but um, some of that could be from the dust just settling because the door was closed in here the door was closed and maybe some of the dust just settled but uh, it did seem to remove some of the particles in here not a lot you know we're down from uh, about 1700 to 800 and something but this thing was running for three hours in this small room and it did take some particles out but the amount of ozone that this thing produces it stinks like ozone in here is not worth it uh, trust me and if I had run a, a real HEPA filter in here my IQ error or just my Honeywell or uh, one of those the particle count would probably be um, probably 10 you know in this size room I would probably would have had it into the low teens so really it's not doing a whole lot, whole, uh, whole lot this air cleaner you know, for the little bit of particles that it takes out, it's not worth the ozone that it produces. Um, this thing is totally, uh, totally junk. You know, it's hard to clean. Here's the plate that you have to clean. So it does take out some dust here. But like I say, not a whole lot. And that's not really the issue. Like if it did take some dust out, at a small pace, you know, I'd say go for it, use it, even if it doesn't take it all out. But the fact that it makes stinky ozone, which is uh, really bad for your lungs apparently, uh, it's on the EPA website, look it up. So don't use these things because of that. These new ones have this thing, something called an ozone guard, I'll show it to you. This is the uh, so called ozone guard. It comes off, just pops right off. Now, I don't see how they think this little guard on here, which doesn't even cover the whole unit, is going to do much. Most of the air would just bypass it. And what is this thing? It's supposedly a coating that uh, makes the ozone turn into oxygen, but it's just a gimmick. They put these on their, their so-called newer units to uh, save their ass when it was uh, found out that ozone is really bad for you. So they put these on to fool people. Because it uh, doesn't work, I know it doesn't work because you can still smell the ozone just as strong with or without it. So that is a gimmick if you ask me. Um, if you have asthma or allergies and you're considering getting one of these things, I'd advise against it because the ozone will irritate, will irritate your lungs. That's for sure. It's just not worth it. Um, you might feel bad that you spent money on this and wasted your money like I did, but uh, better better to waste your money than keep using it and, and sacrifice your lungs. So the Sharper Image knew that these things made ozone, and they knew it was bad for people, but they kept selling them. That's why they're out of business now. It was found out what they were doing. So um, This thing is a hunk of junk. Here's our particle counts right now again. So some of the dust may settle in here. Um, the counts are a lot higher in the hallway here. They're about 2,000, so I'll just open the door here and show you what happens when I go in the hallway. and you can really smell that ozone when you come in here. It just stinks. And like I say, for the amount of particles this thing does take out, it is not worth the, uh, the risk of uh, ozonating your air. So stick with the, uh, the true HEPA filters, they work the best.